Hello everyone, it is Jacob here and this will be probably my final update on my Erika build because it is already capable of clearing everything including 8.4 like juiced maps so yeah and the build has a lot of room to improve still I don't have my slates complete like you can still make this a lot better I don't have my tier 0 gear completed I like have just tier 1 rings and yeah no, no gloves like you can still make the build a lot stronger tier 1 necklace so the build already deals <coughs> around 2, 2 trillion damage and it is capable of clearing everything and it has a lot of room to improve but I would like to start focusing on the next build as well and uh, like don't pour don't pour more FEs into this one because I want to spend on the next build as well and I don't have that much time to play uh, anymore this season so yeah I would like to provide you with one more build after this one so this is this is incomplete but already capable of clearing everything bear that in mind as you can see right here like it caps out the dummy I'm using my level in pack spirits now because I want to push it to level 100 before I like put the character away. <coughs> so that's that. Just to uh, let's go over the gear, okay? <coughs> Some energy shield helmet with aura effect and cooldown recovery, and you want to focus on lightning resistance wherever you can. I will show you the reason later. So my resistance is right now, I have 243% lightning resistance and capped the, other, uh, the others. So uh, energy shield, uh, max energy shield, aura effect, cooldown, lightning resistance on the helmet. On the amulet you want like skill levels, aura effect and more lightning resistance. On the gloves you want fervor, definitely more critical strike chance. Uh, it stacks slowly in town on one target but when you get into a map it stacks really fast so no problems stacking fervor to 100 during mapping. And you want energy shield, armor damage, mitigation, penetration if you have hit an enemy recently. This once you get uh, a lot of like elemental penetration this penetrates armor and what armor does it also reduces like non-physical damage taken for monsters so when you can penetrate armor as well yields you more damage so that's why the mod is there and then some critical like <coughs> preferably critical damage and more attack speed is always nice uh, on the belt uh, damage mitigation Additional damage taken at low mana, minus 18%. Then more defense. If you can, then try to make an armor base or armor and evasion base. Enchant armor as last. And then you want to focus on resistances and then again add an lightning resistance on that. Uh, I could actually craft lightning resistance on the gloves as well. I will do it after the video. For the boots focus on the mobility skill level and then as high additional damage for mobility skills as possible because we are using mobility skill as our main damage source or main damage scaling source for the rings maximum focus blessings get it tier 0 uh, 4 plus 2 and then resistances and uh, here you want erosion resistance on at least one of the rings and lightning resistance preferably. This ring is not perfect, I have like another prepared here. Yeah, as you can see, having lightning resistance there would provide me with more damage. On the other ring, lightning resistance. Uh, <coughs> pretty much the same. You just want erosion resistance on at least one of them to be able to cap your erosion resistance at 60%. For the weapon, you want a physical damage weapon, like there was an idea of running with a wand, but I think that physical damage sword will net you more damage. You can go either with critical strike rating, but we don't need it uh, that much. If you want a perfect sword, then 
they get the one that provides you with chance to inflict paralysis on monsters because that paralysis provides you with 10% additional damage. Yeah, and then as much physical damage <coughs> to the weapon as possible. So adds physical damage and then elemental and elemental penetration, gear attack speed to get faster through the map, and if you can like, like lightning resistance and other mods that will increase your damage. On the shield, I wanted to roll uh, like uh, um, energy shield on the Dreamcraft, but I ended up with this one after using all my readability. And on the energy shield, you want uh, elemental penetration. Active scales and resistance is again erosion and lightning resistance. As much lightning resistance as you can get, even get it tier zero if you can. Um, for the armor, I have Imperial Might. I've bought this one for around 4k. It's not that crazy, like just farm a bit and get yourself one as well, because that will provide you with 80%. <coughs> Like after I swapped to this, this one provided me provided me with eighty percent increased survivability. Because what you can what you can do with this armor, it scales your energy shield. Uh, so you can afford swapping out uh, energy shield aura and swap in armor aura and get some physical damage mitigation through that. I will show you that as well. If you don't want to run Imperial Might, get an energy shield base with a lot of energy shield and preferably uh, enchanted mod that provides you with fourth start when hit. So that's for the gear. Uh, now for the skills. Swift Shadow Rate is a mobility skill and if you get it to high level it scales out of your weapon attack damage, so that's why you want to scale your weapon attack damage as high as possible. My sword is far from ideal, like you would want really like uh, more damage on that weapon, because this scales really well. <coughs> and the links like this, uh, for start with maximum, with energy shield medium activation, Uplifting, iron fortification to get some armor and extended duration to increase uptime. You don't need uh, defense layers because you get the one second uninterrupted shield for uh, from your passive points. <coughs> curse, electrocute. Uh, if you have room for two curses, you can even run uh, elemental destruction on your ring or here. Um, yeah, I try to get <coughs> activation medium preparation with like 5 or 6 seconds on your electrocute to uh, keep it 100% uptime. 8 seconds is not enough here. Bulls Rage. This one, <coughs> because we have self-sacrifice on it, pretty much stays up uh, all the time when you are encountering bosses and you will have no issues clearing a map with this. but uh, sometimes you might encounter like harder bosses and this provides you a lot of damage and even though it activates uh, during the map because I'm using activation medium preparation it inactivates uh, uh, every around like 12 seconds it has around 12 seconds cooldown uh, if you manage to hit something with this effect up uh, you shock it and the shock damage then gets scaled into your hero trait so uh, it also helps with clear, but on bosses you will re recognize this buff like the most. And for the last, fixate, chance to deal double damage and marks enemies so they get so they take more critical strike damage. If you don't need the damage buff from this and you want to go faster through maps, I'm just swapping that for burst of anger for burst of anger to increase my attack speed during the map to clear the map faster. Uh, <coughs> main aura. Precise elemental resistance. You definitely want the precise version because you are scaling your damage through your resistances. So getting more wherever you can is uh, like pr preferred here. <coughs> so definitely get precise elemental resistance 
and the second aura precise that fast provides you with around 60% uh, physical damage reduction if you are using imperial might if not <coughs> then just use energy fortress if you are using energy shield like armor base um, damage aura fearless critical strike rating critical strike damage area and attack speed and uh, electric conversion as the last one get precise versions those are cheap around like 30 fe each uh, additional lighting penetration this one as well like the supports on all the auras are generic like selfishness tent as one and aura amp and i'm using precise silk conversion on one of the auras just to reserve it on life don't need to be precise you will just reserve more life <clears throat> soul candles those are your like a huge source of damage we are using the mod that provides you with 5% lightning damage for every 2% excess lightning resistance as i've shown you i have 243% lightning resistance so that's 203 over <clears throat> and i have the mod on both candles so that's why you want to get your lightning resistance as high as possible and she also uh, Erika also gets like similar mod from her from her hero trait, but that is capped. The candles are not capped, so get as much uh, as much uh, lightning resistance as possible. As you can see, I have it on both my candles. This is a normal one, and I then bought like a stacking candle here. Uh, not really necessary, but helps you with clearing the maps faster um yeah so pretty cheap candles actually uh, the base version you can get a lot better ones obviously for the hero trace uh, what's nice about erica is this relic which provides you with a lot of damage and also a lot of survivability because the second mod basically uh, allows you to regenerate or uh, recharge your energy shield really fast what you want to get here is uh, like if you want to go cheap you want the first two slots and then the fourth or fifth slot or a bit higher budget you want to go first three slots and if you want to get a lot more damage just go for the first two slots or only first slot and get rid of the respective like uh, relics here <clears throat> and on the rolls you want to get 0.4 seconds on the first one and as high <coughs> on the second one as possible I'm using uh, a prototype here it's just cheaper if you have the money for the normal version which is around like 8k I believe just get the base version you will get more damage a second relic as high percentage on the highest shock damage recorded by Fallen figure here as possible and for the third one uh, Fallen figure settles shock one additional time and chance to trigger Fallen figure I'm not sure if this works probably is but you can test uh, using like cooldown, rec uh, cooldown reduction here as well might yield you more damage I have no idea I'm using this and it work it is working pretty well for the hero traits, uh, this relic actually provides you with this upper hero trait here, so we are using the bottom one, but yeah, like this, there's no other way, at this point of the build, and this point in progression of the build, this will not yield you as much damage as this one, this one is insane, so yeah, like this, and uh... Uh, where is the one that gives you the damage from uh, lightning resistance? Um, this one. For every 1% lightning resistance exceeding the upper limit, which is 40 with this, gain 0.3% of hit damage as base shock damage up to 20%. So this caps out at around 100% I believe. 
but even though even then because of the candles you want to get as much lightning resistance as possible as long as so, that's the trade for the passive points the tree is the same as in the last video for the next two levels i will just max out my energy shield increase my survivability because i don't need any more damage so the passive points looks like this blade runner warlock i will post uh, the builder for my current build into the description of the video as always so yeah statue of the god not finished yet i'm using the peaceful realm in combination with additional lightning damage for every point of order there's a lot of room to improve here <coughs> i'm i have <coughs> i already have like spark from my previous build and two mods from my from my from my previous builds so i use them but you want to get two more of these and swap them instead of this so they could support each other and get a lot more damage from that and then you want to get the, you definitely need this mod on one of your slides so preferably you, you want to get the two spaces uh, i'm not sure uh, of the name of the golden slide but the two spaces one with this mod so you can slot uh, that would allow you to slot a uh, fourth god footsteps have higher up time have higher higher up time but even with this setup i'm running out of those us uh, out of order uh, like charges slowly but it is slow enough for for me to clear the entire 8.4 map so yeah a lot room for improvement here uh, and that's it for the build i will show you the clear of 8.4 map i'm leveling i'm trying to level up so i'm just going lower tiers there's no really reason to push hard when you are leveling to get like one percent more xp just better to go safer but this would be <coughs> like 8.4 map you just start going and then you clear the entire map okay. leaving the death in just so people see that you can occasionally die when you go higher maps but this wouldn't happen if yeah, I was running like 8.2s and 8. Point, maybe even 8.3s come on can I go down please nice so how the damage scales uh, you basically want to hit a monster as hard as possible with the movement skill and record the shock damage and the felling figure that then like those are the uh, white clouds that are flying from you all the time the felling figure then well, like deals the shock damage <coughs> you dealt the highest shock damage you dealt and yeah clears everything so as you can see this is 8.4 map uh, and just cleared it with no issues so yeah that's it for my probably final video on this erica build let me know in the comments below if you want me to like go further but i don't feel like it is necessary and it would be better for me to focus on the next build now so yeah thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next video Bye.